Emergency is back, and tonight in a brand new series, paramedics at risk as they rescue a badly injured woman. Oh, you didn't say I was going to take it all, like. <laughs> and at the hospital, the man who escaped when boiling oil set his house alight. Your chips were nearly up, weren't they? For the latest series of emergency, our cameras follow ambulance crew Lucy Dennison and Mark Glenn Course as they work their first shift together. While at Gateshead's Queen Elizabeth Hospital, consultant Bob Jarman Fantastic. is on duty. So we've just been dispatched to a, a local school for a 30-year-old female who's fallen and possibly broken her leg. It's early evening on a typical northeast spring day, which means it's been raining for hours and the slope awaiting Mark is a virtual mudslide. Oh, you know, I just know I'm going to fall here, mate. I'm just going to hold on to you, lads, all right? Yeah. <laughs> right. Hello, honey. Which leg? God, could you make this any more difficult? <laughs> I'm just thinking of the best way to get you down. Mark's patient, Gail Smart, is in agony with serious leg fractures. Now he has to get her down the treacherous slope without causing any more damage. 4 over. Yeah, 214, this lady's fallen halfway up a very muddy hill, um, which is quite difficult access. Could you ask um, the fire brigade to pop down to give us a hand with some ropes over? Yeah, 214, that's a over. Right, we'll give you some gas and air, and then we'll I'll try and get a needle in your arm and give you something stronger, all right? We'll take her down on the spinal board, yeah. and we'll just use the fireman to rope her down to the bottom. The Spinal board and splints, fax splints. Yeah. We started off with gas and air, um, purely because of the position she was in, it was quite difficult to get access initially. <laughs> I just know I'm going like. And then following on from that, as soon as you can get IV access, then we start on the morphine. Have you ever had morphine before? She had 20 milligrams, which is a, a substantial dose, um, but her pain score finally came down to three, which is adequate for her, you know, so. But the two together work quite well. How's that doing? Is it doing any good? The wall's been extracted again. <laughs> Keep moving on it. Does that feel okay in your hand? You know, we could have got another crew, ambulance crew, to come down, but then it would have just been four paramedics struggling to get her down the hill, just relying on with feet and with hands. Yeah. We've both just nearly gone trying to come up, never mind get her down. Oh, we to put We want to put her on the board to slide her down, so I didn't know if you just wanted to, like, rope attached to the board and. Or ladders as well. Uh, she's, put, she's, a, put a ladder up and then you She's definitely got a right tip fib right. fracture, so... Where you utilise the fire brigade, they've got their long ladder, which you saw they used as support, and then they use their long ropes to actually help assist down. Um, it's something that we're not equipped for. Um, the fire brigade have special services, which they do not just um, fire and rescue, but sometimes they'll come and help us with difficult extrications like that, which worked well. It was our local crews from our station, um, so it was good, helpful. Yep. Can I just brace against your foot? Yeah. If I go more all gun, Give some welly, man. Is that as good as it gets? It's sucking it, not the one. Ah, uh, it's sucking, aye. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> right, let's let go of that in the Nox. You, are you alright with I'm that, mate? Yeah. Wait, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to get the top? I don't feel safe at all. Oh, you're not going to go anywhere. Honestly, you're strapped in. You're strapped in, and we've got a lane on the top. But you're all right. Thanks for the system. What? Do you want me to help with the line, like? Yeah. Two seconds then? Yeah. I'll just get up behind you. Right. Oh, you didn't say I was going to take it all, like? There you go. Could you? Is a hand with the line he's away. I think they're nearly there, Mark, a couple of foot. I really think that if we tried to do that We're ourselves, we would have ended up going go the down, the, right. down the hill. Right. And she was supporting all her weight on a broken leg anyway. So she was in a lot of pain from that. Um, but if I'd tried to straighten the leg, then she would have gone. So. And at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital, Mark's suspicions about the extent of her injuries are soon to be confirmed.
It's a distal third uh, tibia fracture, which is uh, it's a spiral fracture, mm -hmm. which is uh, slightly displaced, and uh, it, it, she has also got a proximal fibula fracture, so it's a twisting injury. She would need an operation for that. Uh, so we have uh, decided to admit her tonight, and then we will uh, plan for an operation. Quite a job for your first shift, wasn't it? Yeah, for the, for the start, yeah. Good. Bit of fun. It's just very muddy now. They're bringing these spare trousers. <laughs> There's no way of getting underneath where so get 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 right over. Be tromping in someone's carpet in half an hour, man. Um I've been on the road about a month, so uh maybe about eighteen shifts. Um but this is uh, my third set of night shifts, so I'm just getting in the swing of night shifts. <laughs>